what's up guys welcome back to this channel um in this video we're going to look at the one way sorry the repeated measures one way ANOVA and in this scenario you have one IV one DV your IV here is actually uh caretaking duration the levels being week one week two and week three and your dependent variable is perceived happiness so to run the repeated measures one way ANOVA you go to analyze so the general linear model and oops, click on repeated measures. So the first thing you need to do is to define your IV as well as your DV, basically telling SPSS what they are. So in the within subject factor name box, you need to give the name of your IV. In this case, it's caretaking duration. You also need to specify how many levels does your IV have, which is three. Now press add. After that, uh put the name of your dependent variable into the measure name box so it's perceived happiness press add and press define this gives you this window over here so the next step is basically to input the levels of your iv into this box over here now you'll notice there are a bunch of numbers over here one two three this is basically just sbss asking you to define what's the first level of your IV, what's the second level, and what's the third level of your IV. So you just need to slot them in accordingly. So that's week one, week two, and week three. Now, usually um, when you run an ANOVA and you, you'd see if there's a significant overall effect or not. And after, if there's a significant effect, you would want to go to post hoc to ask for post hoc tests. But the problem is, uh, in repeated measures, one way ANOVA, you can't request post hoc tests using the usual uh, post hoc option. But there's another way to uh, request for post hoc tests, which I will show you shortly. But for now, go to Options. Now, slot in your variable into the display means for a box. This will give you your means and standard error. Also, click on Descriptive Statistics. Uh, this will give you your means and standard deviation. Now the next thing I want you guys to do is tick on compare main effects. And once you do, this option should light up with a drop-down box. So for now, click on Bonferroni. So essentially what you're doing is that you are asking for a Bonferroni postdoc test. So whenever you run the repeated measures, one way ANOVA, uh, when you want to request for a postdoc test, you need to do it with this option. You need to uh, input your variables here, click on compare main effects, and then you know, choose your desired postdoc test. In this case, we want one for only because he's the best. Uh, anyways, press continue, press OK, and then you get the magic of SPSS once again. A lot of tables, but don't be afraid. We'll go through them one by one in tutorials. So yes, 